it's Mariella. Welcome and welcome back to the Park Cow Naturals channel where I show you natural alternatives for treating problematic skin. All right, I just got back from the gym and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time for me to show you the affordable, natural, simple routine that literally saved my skin from acne and dark spots. I'm currently experiencing some breakouts, so I'm going to do my full four-step routine. I'm gonna show you each product and I'm going to explain to you how each product has helped me either treating my acne or getting rid of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. But before we get started, be sure you smash the subscribe button for more natural skincare tips. And if you are currently struggling with problematic skin, with acne, with dark spots, I made a free guide for you on how I was able to clear my acne naturally and my dark spots and hyperpigmentation within 60 days so you can grab that on the description box be sure you give this video an early thumbs up so other people struggling with problematic skin can also find this content and be sure you watch till the end so you know how to enter this video's giveaway okay so this is what my skin looks like now this side this side is doing pretty well right now but this side this is my evil side right now. <laughs> so I'm currently experiencing some breakouts, especially on this side. I do have some active acne. There's another one over here. I just popped this one. This one wasn't under the skin, kind of like hormonal acne. Um, it never came to the surface, but even if I'm not able to pop it, it's still gonna leave a mark. But honestly, compared to how my acne used to be, this is still not that bad. And just quickly sharing my acne story, I did have pretty bad acne. I did go to the dermatologist, but I turned out Accutane. The dermatologist was trying so hard to get me on Accutane, and I was like, nope, nope, nope for personal reasons that I'm not gonna go too in debt right now, but I did end up taking prescribed medication. Specifically, I did three months of antibiotics and also three months of using tretinoin, which just absolutely made my acne worse. So after the three month course of antibiotics that did not help me whatsoever and my skin was getting worse, the dermatologist just wanted to get me on Accutane. I again said no. And instead I started looking for natural alternatives and I started using um, this natural skincare routine that I'm going to show you and that 100% helped me get rid of my crazy acne and it is what has been helping me keep my acne down for the last two years. I am still very, very acne prune as you can see. The reason why I am breaking out right now, honestly, the last month, the last couple of weeks have been pretty tough for me, like in my personal life. I was traveling, which you know, when I'm traveling, I neglect my skincare and I also neglect my diet. And then I got COVID and during COVID, it was just like really hard for me to keep up. And then um, last week, my dog passed away rest in peace crusher which you know sent me on a bit of an emotional spiral and I was eating a lot of comfort food which ultimately means junk food so I have been eating a lot of junk food for the last couple of weeks but today I got back to the gym getting back to doing my skincare routine and clearing my skin because this has not been the norm for me for the last two years. For the last two years, my skin has been pretty clear thanks to this routine that I'm about to show y'all. So let's get it. Okay, step one is cleansing my face or washing my face. I do not have makeup on right now, but if I did have makeup on, I would absolutely make sure I wipe off as much of it as I can with a wet wipe. And then I will come in with this clear skin foaming face wash and wash my face. Days. The main ingredient is African black soap. It also has rose water and some essential oils, tea tree and rose hemp. It helps me with acne. Some of the ingredients like African black soap and um, tea tree are meant to help clear acne. And then it has rose hemp oil, which is like one of the best essential oils for helping clear dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And then it has rose water. Rose water is just magical for everything. So there's that. <laughs> and I just lathered this on for a couple of minutes because I really really want to take advantage of like the essential oils like I want to make sure the essential oils are sitting on my skin for a little bit or at least for a couple of minutes before I wash it off and sometimes I just let it sit but yeah like this face wash is like the best face wash ever and I swear like I'm not even biased I just love African black soap and like the combination with rose water and essential oils like it's so good for my skin and before this I was using it was like a benzoyl peroxide face wash at the dermatologist had prescribed me and I used to hate it because it used to dry out my skin like so 
bad. Like my skin would be so dry to the point that like my face would hurt. And this does not give that drying feeling, but it also doesn't make your skin oily. If you have like oily or dry skin, like it really doesn't matter. Like this face wash, you should absolutely try it out. Okay, for this step, you're absolutely gonna wanna pay attention because this is what I swear by that got rid of my acne in the first place. This is the Healing Clay Mask. This is 100% pure bentonite clay. And when I tell you like this is what got rid of my acne. Okay, so for this, we need a bowl and a brush. And I just take a little bit of water and mix it with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So this is bentonite clay. And this is what bentonite clay looks like. It's a powder, so then I take this powder and I drop it into the water and apple cider vinegar and I mix it. And I mix it till I get like this consistency. And then I go ahead and apply it to my face. So the story with this, after I stopped using the dermatologist prescribed medication and I was just like looking online for like different things that I can use for acne. And I saw everyone just like raving about this, raving about bentonite clay. And it was like the new thing, it's all natural and it helps with acne. And I saw like so many other people on YouTube um, trying it out and how I was clearing their skin. And I was like, okay, doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> so I stopped using the dermatologist prescribed medication and I gave this a chance and I use this pretty much every day for 14 days and in 14 days this literally dried out my acne from day 1 to day 14 my acne was gone Amazing. Amazing, and I have been using it ever since like I have literally been using this for almost two years again I'm still very very acne prone So this is what I use to keep my acne down and to still get rid of any breakout that I might get I do try to use it every day, especially if I have active breakouts at this point this routine that I'm showing you Like it's literally part of my lifestyle Like if I stop doing this as you can see my acne comes back my breakouts come come back so I I do try to make sure that I follow this and I do this every day. When I don't have active acne, then I would just do the mask every other day or maybe just like two to three times a week, kind of like for maintenance. But the other products that I'm showing you, like I do this as my morning and night routine every single day. And these products have been keeping my skin clear. I'm using this every day right now. And these breakouts should be gone a week from now. A week from now, I'm going to be back to clear skin. <laughs> So yeah, this is absolutely great for acne. Like if you're struggling with acne breakouts right now, whether they're hormonal or whatever, like I would absolutely recommend you try this out. Like literally if you do this every day for 14 days, you'll know if it's working for you or not. And also great benefits of bentonite clay. I use this on my face, but then I also use this on other areas where I have hyperpigmentation. So what bentonite clay does is specifically, it is a very strong skin detox. So it removes like all impurities. So one of the things that I use this for as well is for my underarms. My underarms tend to get like pretty dark and it helps me lighten my underarms. I have used this anywhere where I might have problematic skin. So yeah, this is amazing. So this is what it looks like once it's evenly applied and pretty much I just let this dry out for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I just wash it off and then after that I'm gonna show you the next two steps that I do that help me keep my skin clear all right here is how to enter this video's giveaway oh gosh this is so dry now be sure to enter this video's giveaway where you can win a free complete natural acne routine which is pretty much this entire routine I am showing you that has saved my skin. To enter, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and comment below if you have ever tried natural skincare for clearing your problematic skin. Good luck. Okay, it has been way more than 10 to 15 minutes. I got distracted watching some YouTube videos. But this is what it looks like when it's almost completely dried up. Once I feel like it is dry enough that I could barely move my face, that's when it's like, all right, I can wash this off now. <laughs> and how I wash this off is I pretty much just damp it. And once you even get it a little wet, like you feel it loosening up. That's what she said. 
And once it's wet enough, what I do is I pretty much continue to cleanse my skin with it. Like I just try to like use it as a face wash, if you will. And once it's completely loose, then I just go ahead and easily wash it off. And what I love about the clay mask, it's like you will literally feel the difference on your skin like as soon as you wash it off. Like your skin will feel like so smooth, it's crazy. Okay, and once I'm done washing it off, I do have a little bit of redness and that is because of the apple cider vinegar. And also if you do leave it on for so long to the point that like it dries like really, really hard, it is going to cause a little bit of redness, but that is completely normal okay but after i do the healing clay mask this step is so important like if you're gonna do the healing clay mask like you have got to moisturize right after like the clay mask is absolutely amazing and like detoxing my skin and like removing all the sebum but the thing is like it removes absolutely everything it detoxes your skin of absolutely everything so you gotta you want to make sure you moisturize because if you just wash this off and then go on about your day like your skin might feel pretty dry for a while and we don't want that okay so you want to make sure you moisturize so step number three that i do is i use rose water like i said rose water is just perfect for everything rose water has antibacterial properties which means it's going to help me get rid of acne and also prevent new acne it has anti-inflammatory properties which means if i have like any inflamed breakouts which i do it's going to help soothe them and it's also going to help soothe any redness that i get from the healing clay mask. So this is absolutely a must do step right after. And it's also anti-aging. Cause we, we ain't getting old ever. <laughs> after rose water, cause rose water is great, but it's not enough to be like a moisturizer on its own. So I go ahead and moisturize with the clear skin serum. And I just use like, Three pumps. I'm running out. I need a new one. And the Clear Skin Serum, same thing, is all natural. It has tea tree oil, which again is gonna help me with acne. It's also gonna help me prevent new acne. It has rosehip oil, which is like one of the main ingredients. And specifically, this Clear Skin Serum is what's going to help me with those dark spots and the rosehip oil mainly because rosehip oil is just so good for skin like regeneration, which means that if you're using rosehip oil on anything that's like hyperpigmentation or dark spots is going to be really great for that. All right, so that is my complete routine that has helped me get rid of my acne and my dark spots. This is what my skin looks like right after I'm done doing my routine. Still a little bit of redness, and of course the breakouts are still there, but I promise you they're going to be gone in a week because this routine just really really saves my skin when it needs to okay <laughs> if you want to check out this routine i absolutely recommend it like i said these are all the products that helped me get rid of my acne specifically especially the healing clay mask and then every all the other products i found them in order to get rid of my dark spots and is what is keeping my skin healthy and i have been relying on these for the last two years so the links are on the description box so you can go ahead and check those out and if you do please come back here and let me know how it worked out for you because i just love hearing when other people are also able to clear their skin naturally because listen like i know what it's like to have acne like i went through harsh medication like i know what that is like and i know what it's like to have to spend like so much money on medication when you can just simply buy affordable natural products that are actually proven to help us clear our problematic skin. So please come back here and also share your journey with me. I really hope you found this video helpful and I hope this helps you as much as it has helped me. Please be sure you smash the subscribe button for more skincare tips and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below to enter their giveaway where you can win these products and be sure to check out these other videos that I made for you on how I have been clearing my problematic skin naturally and other than that i will see you on the next one bye